When you're trying to create um, garments in Adobe Illustrator, you might want the texture of the garment to resemble the fabric that you're working on. Now, one way is to apply a pattern to the garment itself, but another way is to apply an effect. So here's a t-shirt, and I'm going to select the front piece, and we see here a blue dot next to the meatball. So we go effect, Effect Gallery. And this brings up the Photoshop effects, which you'd be used to for if you use Photoshop. And there's a whole load of them here. Now, the best thing to do is to play around with them. And if you know what texture you're looking for, so the good idea is to have a picture of the texture of the garment. So if it's a pair of jeans or whatever, and then you can try and uh, look at the effects, you can see which one closest resembles that, and then go with it. Now, one which is really a given, if you go to texture, we can see that we have texture at the very bottom. On the drop down, we've got um, burlap or canvas, so those are two fabrics straight away. This will actually give you the real thing, but other effects will give you something similar. So I'm going to choose canvas. And then we've got our various um, options here. So if we go for steady and bring it right up, we get the whole um, pattern overlay larger, and steady and brings it down. So I'm going to go for about that. The relief shows you just how um, deep it is. I don't want too much, so that's about where I want. Now I can invert it, which makes it go so look like being in rather than going out, but I'm happy with this. You can play with the lighting, so you can get things working all together, but I'm going to leave it at the bottom. So I click OK, and there we have a texture applied to a garment. You can see, when you look at the front piece, it looks almost photoreal. Now, if we're overlooking the fact here there's no curves or anything, that's a different skill that I'll link in the bottom of this video. But look, compared to the back pieces, so around here, you can really see how the front comes alive a lot more, giving you more detail and communicating another dimension of your work that you wouldn't do without the texture. So this is just one way of doing it. Play around with the Photoshop effects in Illustrator and try and create some really amazing work.